So this video will explain how to do random sampling on the iX81. Uh, to understand how to do that, first you have to understand how to um, use uh, stage controls on the iX81. So we need to go in Metamorph back to Main and click on Multiple Stage Positions. This will open another tab here, and this tab will allow you to see uh, and mark different positions in the sample. So let's first uh, make sure that we're in focus. So I'm gonna go to live and we clearly have something there, that's good. So let's say this is a good spot. All right, so how, how is this going to work? Uh, how are we gonna do the random sampling? The idea is we're going to provide the software with the seed position and then tell it how many samples we want in, in an area that's centered on this position, okay? So typically what I do is I, um, I use the stage to navigate to the center of the sample, which is roughly where we are now. I focus, I mark the position, which I'll show you how to do in a second, and then uh, from that position, uh, I tell the software, okay, sample randomly from, from this center point. Uh, so the first step in all of that is to just mark the position. And so whatever is here, uh, you know, um, in terms of this, excuse me, list of positions, we are going to delete. And the way we do that is we select one and we click on this. If there were more positions, uh, unfortunately, there's no way of shift clicking or selecting all of them, which is, uh, really stupid, but um, that's the way the software works, uh, unfortunately. What we're gonna do is just remove them all and then add a new position, uh, which we can do by clicking here, which adds a current position to the end of the list. There we go. All right, so now we have this. This is, we're telling the software, uh, we want this position to be remembered. So if you go to live, you'll see that this is the position. If I move the, the uh, away from there, for example, if I go here, and then I wanna go back, I can come here, click on that position, and say move to position, and you'll see that it'll return to wherever that recorded position was. And it's recorded in X, Y, and Z. So this is a very nifty feature, even if you're just exploring around the sample and wanna mark things for more exploration uh, later on. Um, for example, at a higher, with a higher magnification objective. Uh, but right now, what we want is um, to, to, to use this feature so that we can do random sampling. So a truly representative uh, set of images from our sample. So how do we do that? So what we need to do is once we've uh, saved, uh, a, uh, once we've marked a position, we need to save this. So we're going to click on save. And we're not going to save uh, this uh, any old place, we're going to save it in a special folder in the desktop called iX81 Sampler. And we're going to save it and call it input. So this folder will always have input and stage positions. We're going to save our center position and call it input. And so we're going to save. It asked me if we want to overwrite it. That's fine. We can overwrite it. All right. So now to make a list of random positions based on this one, uh, we need to leave Metamorph. So, so this is uh, based on a macro I wrote uh, outside of Metamorph. Uh, and so we're gonna run that little macro and that macro is gonna generate another file that's a list of random positions based on some parameters we're gonna give it and based on this sort of center point. So let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna minimize Metamorph. And now we're gonna go to the desktop and you can see there's this iX81 sampler. I'll show you here, it has kind of a weird icon. Uh, we double click there. Uh, it's text-based and it's gonna ask you a bunch of positions. So it says, for this program to work, stage positions file for Metamorph must be named input.stg. Uh, it should be in that folder that it says there and cropping should not have been altered from the default. So if all those conditions are met, which they are, now we can start answering the questions in this macro. So the first is, what is the shape of your wells or sampling area? Uh, and so, uh, here you can choose whether to explore a square or a round area, and the idea is um, 
the round is there in case you have a well and you want to sample the well, so you wouldn't want to sample corners where the well isn't there. So I'm going to say just square, which is option two. Please enter the length of the side of the square in millimeters. So this is the, the side of the area you want to, uh, to sample. So I'm going to say, okay, let's just do a five millimeter area from where I'm centered. Please enter the number of random samples per well. So how many should I, should I take? Uh, so this is up to you, and you should do uh, some pilot studies and, a, and a, ideally a power analysis to figure out how many you need. But for the sake of this, this uh, demonstration, I'm going to say 10. So then it says select the objective from the following list of options. Uh, just trust me, we're on the 20x air objective, which is in this list, option number 5. Okay, so it's done. What it did was in this IX81 sampler folder, it created a new file called stage position. So that timestamp is the time at which I'm recording the video. So it just made that file. So now if I go back to Metamorph and I go back here to stage tab, I can say load stage positions. So hit open. And you can see those are all random positions. Uh, it put them, since they're random, they're, they're in a sort of non-optimal order for visiting everybody. So uh, you can sort them by pressing this button. And now uh, we will be able to go to them um, in, in an order that minimizes the travel time. So let's go to the first one. Say move to position and go to live. What you, you need to do is verify that um, for each of these, you're in focus uh, because the focus may vary across a really wide area, about across five millimeters. So what you can do is refocus on each one with the focus knob. And once you have it in focus, let me see if I can get that right. There we go. Once you have it in focus, uh, you can replace this with uh, with the with the new position, which is the same in X Y, but it has a different Z, by clicking here, and it's going to say a position already exists with those settings. If you choose yes, it'll overwrite it, so that's fine. Let's overwrite it, uh, and then you can go to other positions, check the focus, and overwrite them. So let me show you that again. This one actually, the focus looks pretty good. Let's go to the next one. So this one, the focus looks really bad. So let me adjust this. So that looks better. And again, I click on it to replace it. Click this. It says, do you want to overwrite the position? Yes. So now just to show you that this works, re remember the first position was out of focus. If I go there and say move to position, it should be in focus, which it is. That's because we had adjusted it. Um, so I'm not going to go to all the positions uh, here. Um, I'm just going to show you what happens next when you uh, decide to acquire images. So, you know, once you've adjusted the focus on all of them, then you can hit acquire, and it'll take the three wavelengths at each position. So you can see three wavelengths. That's position number one, and here it tells you what it's on. It's on stage position two, then three. It's taking these channels. And let me show you in the folder where these are being saved. The way it saves them is, um, let me organize them by date. It makes a new ND file, which is this test one. And then it has one image per channel per position. And the positions are marked with this S1, S2, S3, etc. So it's done. So you can see it quickly acquired uh, images from uh, 10 different positions. Um, and they are truly random. So if you want to take representative images of your sample, you can use this little uh, macro that I wrote uh, that interfaces with Metamorph and allows you to do that without any bias. You're just going to get the images of uh, random locations within a certain search uh, territory, and so you'll know that you really have uh, representative image, images of your sample.
Um, so uh, as always, if you have any questions, please uh, do let me know.